Hey friends, it's Ivy here and welcome back to my channel. If you clicked onto this video, you already know what the title is about. So this is going to be my first trimester recap. I will be talking about things such as like how it was to experience my first trimester as somebody that does have emotophobia or is just afraid of being sick. I honestly didn't know whether or not I wanted to film this video because I, I don't know, I was just really, really worried about how it's going to be perceived. I just feel like there is value in what I have to share so I want to be able to share it with you guys just in case you're in the same boat or anything like that you can probably see by my stomach but I am 35 weeks pregnant right now and I am 36 weeks in two days I'm very much near the end and I've just had a very happy and healthy pregnancy despite all the anxieties I had about pregnancy years like leading up to this moment so I thought I would share, I guess firstly, um, the recap of how it was, the symptoms that I had and how I felt, and then afterwards I'll touch on how I was able to get through all this despite my fears of being sick and everything. When I say sick, I mean like throwing up. I just don't want to like say any words. For me, it doesn't personally affect me in that way. Like I just know that it's like a trigger word sometimes for people to use the V word or to say throw up and stuff. Um, and I definitely know I used to feel this a lot when I was younger. So I just, when I say being sick, I just mean like, you know, actually being sick. I was very fortunate and very lucky to not have any nausea, um, any throwing up. I did get sick actually twice in the beginning of my pregnancy, but I'll tell you guys like how that happened. So essentially I found out I was pregnant at five weeks. Um, I was trying for about 12 months leading up to that. I had so much anxiety about getting pregnant one day. Honestly, like ever since I was young, I always knew I wanted to be a mom and I always knew I wanted to be pregnant. Genuinely, like I just feel like I'm made to be a mom. That's like always been my feeling and I just have always wanted to be one. But like I have this huge fear that like looms over me and that was always something that weighed very heavily on me. But yeah, I remember after being married already, obviously my husband and I both knew we wanted kids. So I had been praying about this maybe since 2021, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get pregnant anytime soon. But I remember praying to God and surrendering like, oh my gosh, God, like this, this is real. Like it could happen in the next few years and I'm scared. I'm so, so scared. I think the thing that I was scared of is the fact that like, you know, like pregnancy is so out of our control. You have no idea what's gonna happen. You don't know what kind of symptoms you're gonna have. You have no idea like what is gonna happen throughout your whole pregnancy and Literally, every woman is so, so different. I think what also really scared me was my mom actually had HG, which is hyperemesis gravatium, for her last pregnancy with my sister. And it was awful, like watching her like feel sick and nauseous like 24 seven, um, all the way up until like seven, eight months. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like if it runs in the genes, like I'm so, so scared of that. In 2021, I was like praying about this already being like, God, like I'm so scared but you know like I really want to have kids someday and I just trust your process and I remember every time I would pray that I prayed that like maybe a couple times that year whenever it would pop into my mind I just felt a lot of peace about future pregnancies and I was like okay like we'll just leave it moving forward like we'll just think about it when the time comes me and my husband wanted to start trying at the end of 2022 like early 2023 so you can watch my story in my previous video but i prayed about it timing felt right it felt right and as scared as i was i really wanted to trust god in this area because i did really want to have kids and i did want a family so fast forward i find out i'm pregnant at five weeks and everybody says six weeks is when it all starts and so that whole week was like such a a random mix of like excitement because it took us 12 months to conceive in the first place and like also fear i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited but at the same time i'm just so nervous about what these next few weeks are going to be like for me yeah i was really really nervous about it but let me just talk you guys through the symptoms that i had from six weeks moving forward up until week six i was fine i didn't really feel anything i was just really really tired all the time i would take a nap every single afternoon which, I mean, I do take naps, but like not every single afternoon. But at this point, I was taking a nap every single afternoon. And then by week six, I noticed that my appetite started to decrease. I was hungry all the time, but like nothing appealed to me. Like 
I could not even eat like meat or anything like that and I just really wanted like veggies and um, rice started feeling really gross to me I had a lot of toast yeah it was just like really really like difficult because I was hungry all the time but nothing ever tasted good to me textures of things were really really weird and I was getting really frustrated at this point because I was like oh my gosh like I need to eat I feel like I'm exhausted all the time oh and then by this point I was sleeping even more so I wasn't just sleeping in the afternoons anymore I started sleeping like 12 hours a night and then I would take a nap in the morning and then in the afternoon and I was like I just I know this is pregnancy but it doesn't feel normal like I feel like I'm just so depleted of energy I don't know I just felt like it wasn't good I was like this is not good at all like I need to eat something so that I can actually function properly because I was still working and it was really hard to um, do that so basically that was like week six and week seven throughout my whole pregnancy I just feel like God has had his hand over everything like he's just led me to these amazing resources that i've implemented into my pregnancy and it's just been so great i have this book my friend recommended this to me she's not pregnant but she, apparently somebody um she knows like read this i'll just talk briefly about this and then i'll talk more about it in detail later on but basically it's called supernatural childbirth by jackie mize she's had like four kids and there's so many testimonies in this about so many women who've had supernatural pregnancies and like, birthing experiences and when i say supernatural it just is like it's not natural like you know like most women do get morning sickness most women do have painful childbirths all this stuff but she really believes wholeheartedly that like because we are safe by the cross and like jesus died for us and he took away all sickness and diseases and everything we don't have to live like that and we don't have to bow down to the authority of like what is happening in our everyday fleshly self like sickness bows down to the authority of jesus and she was basically saying like for her childbirth and her um, everything she prays that she will have a pain-free birth um, pain-free labor all these things but she also implements this because she's just like you know if I can pray that I can pray this throughout my pregnancy I'm gonna have a supernatural pregnancy in the sense that like I'm not gonna have a normal pregnancy like most women do I'm not gonna have morning sickness I'm not gonna have this I'm not gonna have that and honestly just like like I hope it doesn't sound crazy but I honestly am just like it has been so life-changing and empowering this kind of mindset and really really um faith building for me it's built my faith so so much and i think it's really tried and tested my faith in the best way possible this year in the sense that like when i read this book i remember finding this book at six weeks pregnant and i bought it off amazon and i literally just started trying to implement the things that she was talking about so during that time after the seventh week i was like i'm so done with this i need to eat something i am so sick of feeling this way i like started praying i was like god i pray god for no nausea i just pray god that i'll be able to eat by week eight honestly like praying in faith and everything had really helped me to be able to do that i all of a sudden like i would say overnight almost like and it's been like a day to three days or so i was actually able to eat things that I felt food aversions for in the past few days and I started to, to be able to eat things that like just food like proper meals in general um, they were small at first and then eventually I could eat more and more and more which was so great and so helpful and honestly from there I noticed such a huge change in my energy levels when I was able to eat and hydrate myself and have water again I was able to notice like a change in my energy levels I was still tired but I wasn't taking two naps a day anymore like I was just able to sleep the whole 12 hours at night and that was about it and then I started to test more and more I was like you know what if I tried something a little bit different um, or tried just a, like a little bit more I was like started to pray like God I won't have food aversions I won't feel like ugh, like gross when I eat food and stuff like that or I won't feel a certain way like literally more and more food aversion started to lift up it was so amazing and i just think this book was like so empowering this book was really really good i started praying that i won't be sick or anything like that throughout my pregnancy i won't start feeling sick i won't start feeling any symptoms of sickness or anything like that and yeah i i did not feel sick at all like i, I didn't get sick throughout my first trimester i did actually wait let me just so by week nine, I actually went to a dinner at a friend's house. We had this thing called a boodle fight. It's like a Filipino traditional meal sharing type thing. It's basically like meats and rice, like different type of meats and rice, like 
barbecue pork, barbecue chicken, beef, rice, um, and then fruits and everything just like laid out in the middle of banana leaves. And I don't know, I don't know if it was like unhygienic or not for me to eat, or I also heard that like some friends went home sick like a day or two later because like someone had had gastro or something like that but literally two days after that dinner i was so so sick like my husband didn't get it which was really lucky for him but i was so so sick like i was going from both ends <laughs> which was really unfortunate it sucked like it really really sucked for like two days i was just praying for it again and it, I felt like it let up pretty easily. Like while I didn't feel great, um, I feel like I was still able to rest in that time and it did let up pretty easily. So yeah, like it was, it was not fun, but it is what it is. From there on like week 10 onwards, I don't know if this was, again, I don't know if this was like because of the incident that happened the week before, I was just like a bit shaken up. I was like, oh my gosh, like, that was like not a great experience. Like I'm still settling into like eating again and feeling comfortable again and eating and everything. Or if it was just like a mix of hormones because it did say like by week 10, your like hormones really peak to the very top, then they kind of like come down a little bit. But I felt so much anxiety in week 10 and week 11. It was not great at all. It was amazing because I got my husband to read this supernatural childbirth book and he was like telling me like, you know, this is not the pregnancy that we're believing for. We're not believing that you're gonna have so much anxiety and feel sickness and everything. Like believe that it's not gonna happen. And it was amazing to have somebody stand by me and pray with me in that way because after that time of him to say those things and to be there for me in that way, like it really built my faith. And I literally just was so grateful for him because like it really picked me up. Just like I really, really needed that. And yeah, I'm just really, really grateful. By week 12, I feel like I started getting my energy back for sure. Like this time, I was actually able to leave the house, socialize a little bit for more than an hour at a time. I didn't have to be horizontal all the time anymore. By this point, I feel like I definitely still had food aversions, but they were not anywhere near as bad as the first few weeks of me like finding out I was pregnant and everything. And then by week 13, I definitely felt a lot better again like still tired and everything honestly the fatigue didn't really let up until around week 15 week 16. i found out later on it's because my iron was quite low and of course because i wasn't eating quite well like initially um so yeah that's probably the reason why i was just like really really tired all the time but eventually after a while it started to let up and i was able to start going back to the gym eventually i was able to start filming like outfit videos and stuff again like tiktoks and stuff like that even though i had like quite the ideal like first trimester i was really lucky that i didn't have any nausea or any like throwing up other than the gastro incident you know like i was just really tired all the time i'm very fortunate that i was able to work from home the entire time my husband works from home he literally like took care of me 24 7 making all my food doing all the dishes all the laundry picking up the things where i couldn't do anything it was just so amazing he's just so great while it was ideal it was still really tough like i definitely felt like because I wasn't doing things that I normally do, like I'm quite active. Like I, I go to the gym, I film like content and like creating content makes me feel like me. I wasn't able to go out on the weekends and like hang out with my friends or like go out to new restaurants because I was just so picky and I couldn't do it and everything. And I don't know, I just felt like I really lost myself for like two months. I really, really felt like I just wasn't me for two months and then eventually I started to become like me. Definitely the first trimester and the third trimester are the hardest physically. Both so hard physically in different areas. If you want me to film like a second and third trimester update after this, let me know. I might finish the third trimester update once baby's born. They're both like just honestly so physically hard but so physically hard in like different ways the third trimester is literally like a three month core workout constantly and and i'm just so sore all the time but it's okay like we're near the end and i'm just so grateful to have gotten to this point now i just like want to talk more about the resources and everything that i was given as i mentioned before like i got this book supernatural childbirth and i also have this book god's plan for pregnancy this honestly was so great especially in weeks 9 and week 10 when i was feeling that anxiety she talks so much about anxiety throughout pregnancy and there's so much scripture in this like it is 
such a beautiful book. I think I read this like three times in my first trimester because it was just really, really faith building. It does talk a lot about anxiety. I think that really helped me because I had a lot of anxiety in terms of like, oh my gosh, like I hate this feeling of like feeling sick or just like, you know, just not feeling the greatest and stuff. And it also talked about anxiety in terms of like, I know a lot of women have a lot of anxiety about baby loss in the first trimester. And she touches about that like so, so heavily like in this book. And I also experienced a little bit of that. I think it's just natural for like a lot of women to experience that like constant fear in the first trimester to be like, oh my gosh, like, is this gonna happen? I don't know. Um, because baby's like safe, safe until like, after 12, 13 weeks. This is really, really good. I just find that both of these resources have been amazing. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just wanted to share that in terms with like, I guess my immunophobia and everything. As I mentioned earlier, I was really afraid of getting pregnant before I got pregnant. I was really, really scared about this like kind of my whole life. It's just something that I've just been so afraid of, something that I have like really, really let occupy so much mind space that now that i'm here i'm 36 weeks this week and i'm like what was i scared about you know like what was i actually so scared about and i know like every situation is so different i feel very fortunate and very blessed um i think personally to be led to these resources i don't think that this is me naturally like i don't think that all this stuff happened to me naturally because my body i don't know just reacted differently to hormones compared to how other women would. I genuinely think that like this is God working through my life and I genuinely feel like because I fully believed in faith and fully believe that like, you know, we as Christians should not bow down to the authority of sickness and stuff. Sickness should be bowing down to the authority of Jesus because he's already taken it for us. Because I have been led to these resources that have empowered me to think in this way, like I really put my whole faith like in God that when I pray something, I trust and believe that he's gonna make it happen for me throughout this pregnancy. He's just shown up for me like time after time after time after time, like just so many things. You guys will see it in the next coming videos that I'll be posting. I had a bleeding scare in my second trimester. It was so scary, but everything just worked out so, so well into our favor. Everything that I prayed for has just been amazing. I've had very intense pelvic pain this third trimester to the point where I'd like cry. I couldn't even walk for a little bit. And literally, I genuinely was just, just like maybe like an hour ago, like filming videos for my TikTok. And honestly, like before, getting changed would be so painful like changing my pants or like bottoms and stuff was just so painful i would cry from the pain and every single time i changed for an outfit nothing was painful and i just could not stop thanking god being like thank you jesus like for coming through for me and like this pelvic pain is just barely there like i don't feel it at all i genuinely think like you know What's so amazing about this book is like, it does empower you to have a supernatural birth, um, supernatural childbirth and stuff. And I think what's so amazing about this is there's like a few pages of testimonies of other women as well who have had births like this. And, and I think I read it as well like two or three times in my first trimester. I'm gonna read it again just before I give birth. And I'm just so excited to experience this. I think it'll be amazing. I'm fully believing that it'll be amazing. I'm really trying not to let myself have any doubts or any fears because you know, like I, every time I have a doubt or fear in regards to pregnancy or in regards to like childbirth and delivery and all that, I just think about how good God has been it, throughout this whole entire pregnancy. Like I was so scared of getting pregnant and I was so scared of, you know, experiencing this. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but God has just had his hand over this whole entire thing. And he's just been with me through like the ups and downs of pregnancies and he's literally just, made this for me such an amazing experience and i'm so 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 grateful if you have any follow-up questions or anything like that I'll, I'll respond to the comments and i might like make a follow-up video if there's like enough comments or like questions or anything like that but in saying that you got this part of the video thank you um i just want to encourage you if you're afraid of pregnancy and getting pregnant but you really really want to be a mom because of the same reasons for me as me like afraid of being sick and um, afraid of what's gonna happen and everything I really just encourage you like before you even start trying or before you even um, get there even if you're single or anything like that you know like for your future 
like pray over it, put it in God's hands, actually fully trust that he will come through for you because I have no doubt that he will and just fully pray and believe in faith that he will come through for you. An element of it is yes, praying about it, but also actually just like surrendering it all to God, like surrendering this thing that is so out of your control and genuinely letting go of fear and anxiety in your heart about what is going to happen like don't just pray like god like i, I don't want to be sick throughout pregnancy but then have a fear in the back of your mind thinking like oh my gosh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen don't even think about that once you've prayed about it you've surrendered it to the cross you've let it go really just like don't live in fear and anxiety like moving forward live in freedom live in faith and yeah that's kind of like the best thing i could say about this whole experience i hope this isn't too long i hope you enjoy this video if there's anything else you want me to do i can do like a follow-up video or anything like that i hope you guys are having a wonderful day bye